This is why June 2023 general mathematics paper two and we are answering question number three. And the question says in the diagram PQR is an equilateral triangle of side 18 centimeters. So this large triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle. As you can see, the mark one one each on each side. And the question further says M, this point M is the midpoint of line QR. QR is one of the sides of the triangle. And this M is now the middle of the distance from Q to R. And the question further says an arc of a cycle P. This is the cycle center of the cycle. So you have an arc A, M, B. This is the arc. That arc touches the line QR at point M and also meets line PQ at A. Look at the position. And meets line PR at B as it is exactly indicated in the drawing. So the question asked here is to calculate correctly to two decimal places the area of the shaded region. This region, look at this the two regions here. It is this two that we want to find the, the area of those two regions. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Looking at the region that is shaded. If you can now find the area of the large triangle, look at it. This large triangle PQR. This region here, look at it, P A M B. It's a sector of a cycle. So if I can find also the area of the sector, if I remove the area of the sector from the area of the large triangle, what I will be left with is the area of this shaded region. Therefore, area of the shaded region will now be area of the triangle PQR minus the area of the sector PAMB. So let me just write the formula for finding area of a triangle. The basic formula is half base times height. And the formula also for finding area of a sector, remember, is theta over 360 multiplied by pi r square. So what remains is to look at your drawing and see whether you have all those variables b, h, and r, and this angle the theta. Where they are lacking, you have to do extra work to find them. So looking at my drawing, the height of the triangle, that is the perpendicular height of the triangle, is missing. But if I take this QR as the base, this line from P to M could be perpendicular height of the triangle. And let me just draw it. So this can serve as the perpendicular height of the triangle. And this is 18. Remember, all the sides are 18, 18 each. And from here to here will now be half of 18 because this M is the midpoint. So I have here as 9 centimeters. I can apply Pythagoras theorem to find this height, the perpendicular height of the triangle, which I will now substitute in this formula for finding the area of the triangle. And it equally serves as the radius of the sector, which I can also replace the, this R by the value. So let me apply Pythagoras theorem because this could be a right angle triangle with this side 18, this side 9, and I'm interested in the third side denoted by H. So that H using Pythagoras theorem is the same thing as the radius of the sector and is nothing but the square root of 18 square minus 9 square. If you now find 18 square and the 9 square and take the square root correctly, that answer is now going to be 15.588 centimeters. So it is this that I'm going to substitute for H and um, it is the same I'll also substitute for this R. So let me just move ahead. So substituting. You now have half multiplied by 18, the base, this triangle, multiplied by H, which I have as 15.588 minus. Then the substitution for the area of the sector, starting with the theta, theta will be 60 because angles in an equilateral triangle are 60, 60 each. So this angle, which will now be as angle subtended by this very arc at the center of the cycle, which is P. This angle is now going to be 60. So I have this 60 instead of this theta divided by 360 multiplied by the value of pi multiplied by r, which is 15.588. So you have 15.588 squared. So evaluating that is half times 18 times. So this correctly gives answer 140.292. And theta over 360 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 15.588 squared. 
if that is done correctly, give answer 127.278. Then you now subtract this 127.278 from 140.292. If that subtraction is done correctly, you have 13.01 centimeters squared. This would now be the area of this shaded region. So let me just quickly share with you how this very question is now marked during the market of this YX 2023. So the very first mark is the method the mark, and this method mark is for getting, using Pythagoras theorem, the height, the perpendicular height of the triangle, and the radius of the sector. Attempting to get it using Pythagoras theorem, you have this method on mark. And when you have the perpendicular height, or rather the radius of the sector as 15.588 correctly, you have this accuracy on mark. And the next mark is for substituting in the formula area of a triangle substituting your base your height correctly you have this method on mark and also substituting the theta the r in the formula for finding area of the sector you have this method on mark and when you now have uh, accurately the area of the triangle as 140.29 you have this accuracy one mark and when you now have the area of the sector accurately as 127.278, you have this accuracy one mark. And uh, next mark is method. Mark is for the subtraction of the area of the sector from the area of the triangle. You have this method one mark. And if that subtraction is done correctly, and you now rounded your answer to two decimal places, uh, you have 13.01 exactly centimeter square that will give you accuracy one mark so in total this very question has uh, eight good marks